Hi guys, this is Nathan with the ebookreader.com. So today I thought I'd go ahead and root my Kindle Fire and install the Android Market. And to my surprise, I found out that it's actually really, really easy. Um, pretty much anybody can do it. I just posted this uh, tutorial on my website actually, if you want to learn how. Um, it's really easy. So all you got to do basically is download this file from, I, I was going to make a video about it, but you know, it seems kind of stupid because literally all you got to do is click a couple of files. So I, I'm just going to show you basically what you can do. Uh, with a rooted Kindle Fire once you got the Android Market installed and what this process entails. All you got to do is basically download that file, uh, install the drivers, and then um, pretty much that's it. You just got to run the uh, Kindle Fire, the root package, and then you got to um, install the Android Market and it all takes about five minutes. Seriously, it's really easy. Um, I was surprised how easy it is because a lot of the tutorials I found online, uh, they're kind of dated, so um, and, um, it was hard to find one that was uh, up to date with the newer packages that this uh, Kindle Fire utility uses. So um, now it's super easy. You don't have to use the command prompt or anything. You can just use that uh, downloaded Kindle Fire utility and you're good to go. So the first time you boot up your Kindle after rooting it, you're going to get this option because you got to, um, with the Google Apps package, you actually install the Go Launcher as well. So um, you can choose which one to go to by default. Um, so other things you can do once you root your Kindle Fire is you can actually install. Um, this recovery package and then with that you can install custom ROMs for like CM9 and uh, different versions of Android, Android 4.0. I'll do some different videos for that down the road but if you still want to keep the Kindles look and feel uh, you can just root it and install the Android market like this and you still have the regular uh, Kindle, all the features like right here. Um, you still have your book section, you know, you get your uh, newsstand and all this stuff, the regular app, or you can still use the, uh, use the um, Launcher Pro which is a different, or the uh, Go Launcher which is a different uh, Android launcher entirely. It's got like the different transitions and you can install these widgets on the home screen and stuff like that. And it has the app drawer over here. So you'll go to the app drawer in here the first time and then you'll uh, launch your Google Market because the Google Market's in here. And then I'll also install some other Google apps like Google Voice, uh, Google Plus, and a couple of other things. And then once you have the Google Market installed and you put your uh, Google uh, account on here, you can just go in and download apps uh, to your liking. So you got the whole Android market on here and you can still obviously use Amazon's app store as well. Um, a lot easier to find like other EPUB apps like Kindle, like the Amazon App Store, they filter out all the EPUB apps so obviously with the Android market you've got uh, all those apps available, you've got everything available. So you can choose to set that as a default if you want and then you won't um, have that option every time you uh, go somewhere. It'll just uh, automatically do it. And then you can go into settings and set the default if you uh, change your mind if you want to use Go Launch or whatever. Uh, check out my tips and tricks video for that because uh, that uh, shows how to do that. But uh, yeah, so you still got all your Kindle icons, you got all your stuff on here, and then you install these other Google apps. So the thing with the sideloaded apps, as you'll see a lot of times, is that the uh, icons, obviously, when you get them from the Google market, they aren't optimized for the Kindle Fire so that they um, doesn't look so good. So I was downloading some games. Yeah, they all worked uh, from the Android market there. It was kind of cool to have some more options for apps and still have the Kindle Fire's regular functionality. So. I'm not entirely certain if videos work or not. I, I've heard reading online that like Amazon's instant videos don't work after you root. Um, I don't know exactly what the technicalities are because the stuff changes so much, but I tried some that I had as a sample and like these ones actually streamed okay. So maybe it's just the instant videos or whatever. I'm not entirely certain uh, what the stipulations are on that because this one actually runs fine. It's not downloaded, it's actually streaming it. And my internet's really slow lately because I have this really crummy internet provider. so it's not going to be anytime soon so let's go ahead and back on out of here okay so um, I just wanted to show you basically what you could do once you have the um, Android market installed on here and that's just basically installing other Amazon or uh, Android apps from the Google market so one thing I would want to do is uh, you've got some of the Google apps but you don't have all of them I would install personally I want to go install the Google Maps app so you got that uh, the Google Apps in here, you can install Gmail, Google Books, that kind of thing, uh, Google Reader, so you can get the other G, uh, Google Apps as well. So that just sort of expands the, co uh, the Kindle's functionality. And then I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review right here. Like I said, check out theebookreader.com. I'll put the link on the under the video for this uh, tutorial right here. It's super easy. I was surprised how easy it is to actually get the uh, Kindle Fire rooted and install the Android market. It just takes a few seconds, or a few minutes actually, and it's uh, really nothing. Uh, nothing to it. So uh, thank you for watching. 